After the loss of a Kerbinaut on the previous mission to Minmus, all hope and trust the general public had invested in the space program was lost. As a direct result of this, government funding was ceased with immediate effect. For many months, the program lay dormant, planning missions that may never come into existence, if funding was not found soon. Thankfully, Mortimer Kerman's way with money landed the program a jackpot deal with private spacefaring company SpaceY, on one large condition that the Kerbal Space Program tests their new launch vehicles and spacecrafts on a mission to the EVEN system. The Kerbal Space Program was on the brink of bankruptcy, but now, thanks to Mortimer Kerman and his somewhat unreasonable charm, shall we say, uh, brute force, I think, is probably the, uh, the better reasoning for it, uh, they have landed themselves a deal with the notorious company Space Y. And that's what you're seeing here in the video. Today, we are having ourselves a mission to EVE. In order to get there, though, we are, are having to test some of Space Y's new technology, including their new space launch vehicles and spacecrafts themselves. As you can see, the launch vehicles do need a bit of work. This is the 5 meter variant, and as you can see, it it's far from stable, particularly in the joint area. I installed this mod just because the fact of actually having an extended mission to EVE was almost impossible with stock rockets. This is the mission plan for this mission. Here you can see the mothership. I'm yet to name it. I will probably name it in time for the next episode. And um, onto this, we're going to strap a lander. And we're also going to strap a... Um, Another lander, a probe lander this time. The Kerbals are not going down to the surface of EVE. Unfortunately, I've tried so hard to build a lander that can both land on and return from the surface of EVE and dock back with the mothership into um, low EVE orbit. Unfortunately, despite my several attempts, I just haven't been able to make one, and I'm very, very sorry, guys. So, we're just going to pretend that for fun's sake that we can actually develop a lander that could actually go onto the, go onto that sort of, um, the sort of hostile environment with the, um, the stupendous gravity and pressure from the atmosphere. And instead, we're going to send a robotic probe down. What you can see here launching now is another type of lander. This one is manned. This one is going to Gilly. That's right, we couldn't complete a mission without landing somewhere, could we? You know, this is a very simple lander. It's very similar to a moon lander, only it has a bit less fuel. I've, again, I've probably overkilled this, bearing in mind uh, Gilly's very, very, very low gravity. It's almost minuscule. Uh, you can see here it's a rather large lander. It's sort of the sort of thing you'd use to land on Minmus, if you ask me. Um, it's Gilly has less gravity than Minmus, so this is probably miles overkill compared to what I actually need. But hey, it's nice to have it in case of a contingency, because let's face it, it's one of my missions, so let's face it, a contingency will probably happen. You can see here the rendezvous process is quite straightforward. I missed out a lot of the Hoffman transfers. I skipped them out just because no one really wants to watch Kerbin just rotating for about three minutes or something like that, something crazy. This first part is all is quite short really because this is just the assembly of the ship. You can see here we're coming up on approach to the mothership. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to dock this manned ghillie lander onto the back of the uh, as yet unnamed mothership. Uh, we've got two nuclear engines and um, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, I don't know, they're mounted radially um, relative to the actual um, mothership itself and um, behind, in between them we're going to be placing this lander. We're not going to make the mistake of when I last tried to get to EVE and, try and docking a, an expanded fairing that blocks the rocket nozzles which means that the thrust doesn't actually, um, doesn't actually work. Um, we're not going to make that mistake this time. I've designed the lander so that it can um, it can dock in line 
which means that hopefully we shouldn't have any problems when it comes to thrust from those nuclear engines. A small change that has happened from 0.90 to 1.0 though, which I'm sure a lot of you are aware of, is that the nuclear engines, which I am using on this mothership to tow this entire load, um, don't actually require oxidizer anymore. They can burn just liquid fuel, which means they um, save a lot of weight when you're actually building a craft to actually uh, go into deep space. It means you no longer have to take oxidizer with you. They have been nerfed a little bit in terms of <laughs> nerfed, nerva, nerfed. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. I'll shut up now with the jokes, shall I? Um, it makes the, um, it means that you lose a lot more weight, um, which is good. It means that you get a bit more delta V. Like I say, I think they have been nerfed slightly in terms of their thrust. Oh, you can see here we just narrowly missed those solar panels. I was really not caring very much when I was going in for a rendezvous here. Um, I was just simply trying to get myself in position. That's the sort of thing I find hardest with rendezvous. Actually trying to get yourself into position so that you're lined up with the uh, with the docking port here. That's why I really want to try and get the Navy Fish docking adapter into my uh, career mode series. Which will be starting soon, don't worry. I'm At the time of this video going live, I'm most likely putting the mods into the actual save file. So don't fret. So, this mothership as well, this is a uh, versatile mothership, as I like to say. Basically, I've designed it so that it can basically at least go one way to every planet within the Kerbal system. Uh, with the exception of maybe Elu, but I'm not too sure. You can see here now we're launching the final thing, the final... Um, final module which is the unmanned lander it's got a small heat shield on it it's only like a 1.25 meter probe itself um, however it's got a protective uh, shield around it similar to how where uh, curiosity had a sort of the flying saucer shaped heat shield onto it uh, that's what you it has um, it's encased in ready to uh, descend into Eve's thick atmosphere in a huge fireball and I honestly don't know what was going wrong with my launch vehicles today, but they this one wasn't flopping around like the other two, but it just was really unstable. I think because I'm designing them in a rush, that may be a factor into it, but I, I don't know. The rest of this is pretty straightforward. We rendezvous and we stick this thing onto the front of the mothership. But I just want to talk a little bit more about this mothership and the sort of mission details in the few minutes that I have left on this video. The mothership is designed, as I said, with the exception of perhaps Elu, to reach most bodies within the Kerbal system. I'm not going to say everyone because I haven't actually tested it yet. Um, but it's designed to reach most bodies, most notably uh, Juna, Eve and Jewel, or the Julian system. Uh, what we can do there is what we can do is we can have the um, the mothership fly out to these uh, places, remain in orbits around these places, and then have and then have it return to Kerbin and stay in orbit around Kerbin. This means we can retrofit it with basically any type of lander that we want, and it means that we can. Um, we can go to pretty much any place that we want using um, using just a different lander that we can send up. And it's very useful because it means it is reusable. This is an ingenious piece of technology from Space Y and it is a very sound investment despite all of the um, head bashing that Mortimer had to do in order to get said deal. I was trying to rendezvous a little bit quickly here, perhaps too quickly, and I ended up um, not perhaps doing the most efficient rendezvous, but at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. We're not wasting any fuel here. This is all just fuel from the launch vehicle. Coming up on approach now, pardon me. Jesus, I always get so off track with these videos. Um, but yeah, the mission profile. This is going to be a four-part mini-series mission type thing. What we're going to do, this is the first mission we are assembling the craft. The second mission will be a transfer transfer arrival at Eve. And we will also land the actual, land, the actual um, robotic lander on the surface of Eve in that video. The third video will be us landing and returning from Gilly to the mothership. And then finally, the fourth part will be the return journey. I may uh, put the return journey into the third one. It depends on how long the video already is. Um, if you guys like that, then uh, do say in the comments down below because I probably won't have filmed all of the episodes by the time this video goes live. But I just felt, I don't know, I, just, I honestly don't know with this series at the moment. I'm probably just going to keep doing it uh, as, I, as I do it. Um, that made no sense at all, but just ignore that. 
You can see here we're now, uh, we've now ditched the final stage of the launch vehicle. We're now on to the docking ascent phase. Those RCS thrusters on top of the casket there that will be carrying the lander down to the surface um, are not just there for rendezvous here. They are also for guidance during re-entry. I found out a lot that you do need quite a bit of guidance when you're in EVE atmosphere because most likely you'll flip around to the most pointy end, which is the most aerodynamically stable end in this case, and most likely burn up to death. But thankfully, fairings are heat proof. So you can see here we're coming up on the docking port. In the next episode, we shall be uh, uh, setting off to EVE. So uh, be excited for that. I'm sure you guys will be. And until the next episode, this is Bradus signing off. Peace out. Eve Explorer goes around Kerbin. Beautiful. <laughs>